So you may remember that a while ago now, I've made a video talk about, you know, the best presets and the best settings you should apply to OBS to help you stream or record your gaming footage. But what if you have a PC that is so slow, that is so unresponsive and is so bad at just doing anything that it gets beaten in calculation by that one nerd in your class? Well, that is what this video is for, as we're going to go over exactly what kind of performance you can expect from your PC to help us determine exactly what kind of recording settings and graphical settings you should go with if your PC is still stuck in the dark ages. So let's have a look at exactly what we'll be using for our benchmarks today. We will be using my original system from 2013 and back then this thing was pretty good but since then it has really fallen from grace. And as part of it, we have ourselves an FX 8350 CPU, which I can explain in my other videos is a really underappreciated CPU and it's actually way better than most people give it credit for. We also have ourselves an R9 280X, a graphics card from 2013, and also 16GB of RAM. So again, back in 2013, this was definitely not the best PC, but not the worst either. A nice mid-tier gaming PC. And many people still are stoked with something with similar performance. So let's see exactly what kind of performance you might expect. So now let's go over the test we will be running. For the benchmark we'll be using Rainbow Six Siege as it's a pretty popular esports game that many people are streaming or recording and its graphic settings vary from being really good to being the more standard thing you would expect in most modern esports titles such as Overwatch. Also, I'm so happy I'm getting all of this changed up soon because I'm literally so low on space here, it's insane. This is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna run the benchmarks at all the different quality presets. Then, at the same time, we're gonna be recording it at 1080p, 60fps using x264 encoding, aka using a CPU since we don't have an NVIDIA graphics card. And we'll see what kind of performance we get from the game itself, but also how good the final recording actually is, aka if it's actually watchable, or if it's missing frames left, right and centre like a juggler who has no idea what he's doing. So here we are, we're in ultra settings, 1080p, I've already turned on the recording, and let's see exactly what kind of footage we're gonna get from this. So as you can see the final performance is actually pretty good. I was surprised myself seeing, you know, how this is a 2013 PC, and yet we're still able to perform admirably in ultra settings. This is ultra settings at 1080p, and we're still getting really playable frame rates. However, the recording was less lucky, and we've dropped a staggering number of frames, up to the point that the final recording was not the worst, but not the greatest experience either. But at least now we should see what we're planning on doing. So let's repeat this experiment with the other graphics presets and all across the board the actual performance was way better than I expected but then the missing frames are a bit of a different story and there you finally start getting reasonable quality footage at around high to medium settings you could of course go with low but you can also do way better than that but that got me thinking this PC in some ways is still pretty advanced for a 2013 PC I mean it has 16 gigs of RAM in 2013, that wasn't like the most common thing in the world, and it still isn't. So how about we simply take out that 16 gig kit and replace it with an 8 gig one? So I did that, ran the benchmark again for ultra settings, and here are the new results. Basically nothing changed between the two, so 8 gigs of RAM is definitely enough for such a PC if you want to stream on a really really tight budget and an old PC. So if you do have some money spare, what exactly should you be investing in? And that's kind of a hard question to answer, but one of the main things you may want to look into is using NVENC. That is an encoder that uses a graphics card instead of the CPU. It is way more efficient, however, as the name implies, it's only compatible with NVIDIA graphics cards. Primarily with the GeForce 10 series, 20 series and the in between 16 series of graphics cards. And after that, you may actually be really comfortable with your setup and you may want to invest in other things such as a better microphone, better webcam and stuff like that. But one more thing you have to remember is, no matter how good your PC is, if you're recording or streaming, there are other things like I talked about in my previous video on the topic that could be preventing you from reaching top quality in your recording and streams. In recording, for example, the way you store all your data is also very important. And for streaming, well, you can have the best PC in the world, but if you have poor internet, then it won't really help. My PC is a great example of that. It has a Ryzen 3700X, a GTX 1080i, 
so it will be amazing at streaming but seeing how it only has also 6 megabits per second upload, it wouldn't really look the best. So, I hope this video allows you to really see what kind of performance you can get with your old hardware. So get out there, start recording, start streaming. And if this video helped you make the streams of your dreams, then let me know down in the comments below. I would love to see what kind of stuff you guys come up with thanks to this video. Also, I would love to thank my Patreon Barry Yule for supporting the channel. Thank you ever so, so much. And if you want to support the channel on Patreon, even $1 a month goes a long way. And it allows me to make way better videos and videos on way more interesting topics. The link to which is down in the video description below. And also, if you want to talk more about the things that I talk about in this video, any other videos, or whatever Whatever you want then i have a discord which is also down in the video description below but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video if you did remember to subscribe like whatever and i'll see you all in what i make next goodbye everyone goodbye